Welcome to Coach Tony's <laughs> Muay Thai class, Discovery Muay Thai. Hey, I am your coach. I am your host. I have my son here, Jay. Say uh, hello, Kenny. That's Kenny, guys. <laughs> Why? So, uh, the cop. Okay, you guys ready, fellas? It's my prerogative. <laughs> I can do what I want to do. It's my prerogative. There we go. I can live my life. <laughs> my bad. My bad. <laughs> okay, we're doing Muay Thai. I scared you there, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with a short warm up. Okay, today is National Muay Thai Day, so I'm be counting in time. We're going to go uh, 10 jumping jacks, 10 push ups, 10 sit ups. Then we'll partner up and do some teeps. Okay, just to warm up our hip flexors and whatnot. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. We're going to start and begin. Long. Song, song, see, ha, ho, jet, bat, gow, sip. Awesome. Nice job. If you were doing it at home, which you should have been if you're in my class, teens, adults, if you were doing it at home, awesome. Let's go ahead and get down, do some push ups, okay? Here we go. And counting in time, ready to begin. Nong, song, song, see, ha, ho, jet, bat, now, sit. All right. Awesome job. Again, good. Now, if you're at home and you're uh, having trouble doing push-ups, it's okay. It's not. Try to follow along as best you can. Um, since you're at home and you're in the comfort of your own home, take this time to really work on the push-ups, okay, and the sit-ups. Work on this conditioning, okay? Because some of you are um, shy to do them amongst your peers, and that's perfectly understandable, and I usually make accommodations for those. But uh, while you're at home, nobody else is watching you but you. So try your best to work on those things. So when you come back, when all this is done, I'll see you like, okay, this person has been working on their push-ups and sit-ups. So nice. Okay, now we do our sit-ups. Ready? And up. Nom. Song. Sam. Si. Ha. Ho. Jet. Bat. Gao. Sip. All right. Nice shot. Nice shot. Okay, guys, so now what I'm going to have them do, what these guys are going to do, but I'll demonstrate. Right now, we're just going to warm up our legs, okay? So I'm going to do in a three-beat march. I'll do my teeth, my front teeth, and I'll do here, one, two, three, then I'll do my back teeth. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, all the way to six, and then I'll have my partner go. Okay, bow to each other, please. Okay, get closer, a little closer, and begin. Yeah, go ahead. Seven, two, three, T. Two, three, T. Follow along at home. Now, if you don't have a partner, which I think some of you do, some of you don't, you can always teep in the air, okay? You can always do it in the air, okay? Um, you can do it on the wall, lightly. Don't go putting your holes in your wall, and then send me a bill, okay? Saying, Coach Tony told me to teep my wall, okay? So, lightly, please. Mm -hmm. Keep going, keep going to the same time, please. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. Keep it up. All right. Excellent teeth. One and two, three, four, five, and six. Time. Excellent job. Let's give him a hand. All right. Nice job. Give yourselves a round. Why not? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so let's uh, talk about the teeth because that's going to be the start of everything that we do today, okay? We're going to do a set that I, I like to do working on our legs. That's why we don't have gloves on, okay? We're going to start with our teeth, okay? Now, if you watch my son do his teeth from a side profile, what he's going to do, he's going to raise his knee up. He's going to extend his teeth. And he's going to bring it back the exact same way that it came, okay? He's going to raise it up again. Teeth, boom. Now, if you watched his body, he used his hips. It looked like he was leaning back, but he's not leaning back until the, the moment his, his foot's going to reach his target. It's almost like you're putting on pants. When you put on pants, you stand up at the end. Yeah? Well, I hope you do. I don't know how you put on. Put on some pants, right? That'd be weird. So um, watch him again, okay? He does his teeth. Teeth out. Good. Now let's do it from another foot. Go ahead and do it, Kenny. From, no, stay where you are. You do it, Kenny. Now watch Kenny's front hand, how it chops out, then it comes back. And that's for a counterbalance. Now, look, your hands weigh something, too, okay? So if I teep this way and I hit my target, come here, Kenny. I hit my target. He gives some resistance back, and my hands are here. A lot of times, 
I'll create what's called unwanted space. I do want to create space. However, I want to make sure that I have balance and then I'm in my stance to attack. Chopping our hand out helps us to maintain our balance and to counter that, that uh, going back unwantingly. Okay, so I'll chop here, boom, and I'll come back down. Make sure I'm controlling my leg. Go ahead and get that chair for me, Jason. Another thing you can do at home, if you have a chair, like a folding chair, you can practice each move that we're gonna do just right here. Okay, so you can do your teep, V march, teep, you can switch legs, teep over the chair. Okay, you can do your kicks over the chair. Okay, you can also do your knees, making sure that you're going over the chair and hold yourself accountable. So if you do this, okay, do five push-ups. Hold yourself accountable, it's fun. You know, the moment you can do it right every single time. Okay, so now what we're gonna do here today, we're gonna start with our front teep. Our front teeth is also called defensive teeth, okay? Defense against what? Punches. Mainly punches. You can defend against kicks, but you're going to need excellent timing on those, okay? Excellent timing. But it's really good for defending against punches, okay? It's just like a jab, okay? It's used to measure, detect, distract, um, detect and distract. The same thing for the teeth in Muay Thai, okay? So what I'm going to do for right now is I'm just going to execute my front teeth. I'm going to go again. T, control myself, and again, good. He's going to go three, one, two, three. Let's give a hand, nice shot, nice shot. So I'm going to have Jay and Kenny go in three for three for the three B rhythm in between. Ready? Go ahead. Start, Jay. One, good. Two, three. Excellent. Can you go? One, two. Three, excellent. Go two for two. Let me check on you guys at home, see how you're doing. Look here. All right, you guys are doing pretty good there. All right, yeah, that's good. Uh -huh. Good teep. Oh, don't forget to chop your hand. Yeah, it's a, it's a front teep. It's a front teep, not a back teep. Remember, front teep, left leg, your other leg. There you go. All right, yep, yep, I can see you for sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, keep going. One, and two. One, two, let's go one for one. One, 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 one. Time, let's go ahead and change position. Still one for one. We're just doing this to break up the visual monotony, you know what I mean? So you guys don't get bored and they don't get bored as well. Make sure you go ahead and move around a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. <laughs> and time, nice job. Okay, so that was the front teeth. Okay, we are going to be using our back teeth uh, a little bit later, but for right now, we're going to really focus on our front side. Okay, so if I'm southpaw, it'll be my right side. If I'm right handed, it's going to be my left side. Okay, so what I'm going to do for uh, after my front teeth here, exit, execute my front teeth, then I'm going to do my switch kick. My switch kick. Well, now look, when I'm executing the switch kick, are my feet wide or are they narrow? Yeah. yeah, they're smaller, okay, because I want to I wanna make sure that I'm hiding my switch, okay? I don't want my switch to be this big old, <laughs> oh, sorry, because I, I couldn't even aim right there. I almost kicked my boy in the head right there. I couldn't even aim correctly, okay? And it's slower. It's a lot slower. Um, in order to punch, you do, you do need to be heavier on your front legs. They need to be a little bit wider. So we have to get, be connoisseurs con of going wide and then coming back and, Narrowing our stance, or sometimes coming forward, bringing in our other foot so it's um, narrow so we can execute our kicks from there, okay? And again, I'm tapping my foot. I'm using this tapping stance here, okay? And a lot of ties, if you watch ties uh, like Lumpini or Rajadam Nern, they'll be tapping their front foot. I remember one of my students before, his name was, uh, I'm going to say his name, but he was like, man, I was watching with ties. They really do this. They, they, really, they really tap their feet. They really do it. I do your homework and go watch some Muay Thai fights. So again, I'm going to do my... Front teep, here, I'm gonna do my switch kick, boom, come down. Using that same chopping motion, okay? I'll do it again, teep, coming down, switch, coming back, okay? Let's watch Jay and Kenny do that, three for three. Front teep, switch kick, yes, at home. Do it at home. Make sure you're doing this at home. That right there, boom, it's nice switch kick, oh, beautiful. Boom, boom. Now, look, my son is 13 years old, and Kenny is, what are you, 22? Yeah. 22 years old. 
This is a definite age and height discrepancy, but yet they're working together and they're not hurting each other, okay? So you can work with somebody younger and still work effectively and have an effective drill. Now, Jay has some experience. He's been training for a long time. You know, Kenny's been training me for a while as well. So they know their control. It's very important to work your control. Okay. Boom. Oh, beautiful. Let's go two for two. Hey, hey, you at home two for two. There you go. Two for two. That's what you do. Nice. Teep. Boom. There it is. Teep. Oh, very good, very good. Hey, hey, one for one. Let's get that done. Uh, with, hey, notice he's making sure that his left hand is chopping and the right hand is staying up to protect that side. Super important to protect yourself even when you're kicking, punching, whatever would happen. Keep, boom, beautiful, beautiful. And time. Okay, good. Let's do our 10 push ups and 10 sit ups. Let's go. You at home, 10 push ups. Ten sit ups. Ready? Begin. No. So, sa. Si, ha. Ho, je. Bat, ya. Sit, upright. Sit ups. Go. No. So, sa. Si, ha. Ho, je. Bat, ya. Sit. All right, let's take a short water break. Okay, so look, excellent job so far. I hope you're following along and I hope I'm going slow enough so everybody gets what we're doing and understanding. If you have any questions, go ahead and type them up. I think we're live. So if you have any questions, go ahead and type them up and I'll answer as best I can. I'll give you some time to do that. You need some water? Need some water? Okay, good. Question? Anybody have any questions? Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, we're going to move on to the switch knee, okay? So now, when you're holding for the switch knee, if you're holding for your partner, okay, if you're holding, make sure you're holding, you, you watch, you play Street Fighter. You know how Ryu and Ken be like, Hadouken! Yeah, I want you to make sure you have this Hadouken, okay? Not the Kamehameha way. This Kamehameha, this is Hadouken, okay? Make sure you have a Hadouken. And I'm going to flip my Hadouken upside down, and then Kenny's going to do the same thing. He's going to give a switch knee right into this pocket here. And now I'm not like this. I'm actually bending to give them the angle that they need to execute a good switch knee. Now, we call this knee number one. And it's a detached knee. Are you kidding? So this next part is going to be martial gold for you guys. I'm going to explain the difference between an attached knee and a detached knee. Are you watching? It's going to change your life. Okay? Make sure you're watching. Okay? Okay, watch closely. Come here, Kenny. So you're in the shot. Attach. Okay. Detach. Oh, there it is. There you have it. You got that one for free too. So, hey, but if you want to go to my PayPal, I'm just kidding. Okay, so now he's going to hold. Okay. For no, I'm, kidding. I'm going to give my switch knee. I'm attacking their liver side unless I'm uh, attached. Then I'll be attacking the spleen side or the solar plex, depending on their body position. And I will give a switch knee coming back to my fighting stance. I'll do it again. It's the same, just like the uh, just like the switch kick. I'm having some motion. I don't want to have too big of a motion like this for the counter of the right hand. So just some motion here in my hand when I give my switch knee here. Some motion is, is fine, okay? So we're just going to work on the switch knee, okay, switch knee. One thing I want to uh, give to you is let's scoot over here so they can see our feet. I want to make sure that my feet are in line with Kinney's, okay? Meaning I'm on railroad tracks. If we're standing on railroad tracks together, don't ever do that, kids, okay? But if we were, okay, I'd be on railroad tracks and so would he, okay? Making sure our feet are lined up on the railroad tracks, okay? And I'm making sure that I'm marching here. And when he's holding, he's, when he lets me know he's ready to hold by doing the Hadouken, not the Kamehameha, okay? And I do my switch knee. I come back to stance, I do it again, boom. And one more. Boom. Okay, let's see if you do that. Jay and Kenny, three for three, please. Just the uh, switch knee. A, one. A, two. A, three. Okay, Kenny's gonna go. A, one. A, nice. Two. A, and three. Keep going, guys. Keep going. How are you guys doing over here? Doing so good so far? All right, hope so. Hope everybody's following along, paying attention. Good. Another key thing to think about the knee is to be pointing your knee. And I'm going to be flaring my knee, 
outside slightly so I can hit with this knuckle here that's in my knee for maximum impact. Okay, one minute. Also, I'm using my toe, getting up, on, getting up on my toe, on my tippy toe, and pivoting out slightly, slightly pivoting out for range. Okay. Mmm, beautiful. Mmm, so good. Mmm. Let's go two for two now. Okay, right, Kenny. Hey, oh. Okay, balance here, right? And it's okay to make mistakes. Sometimes you're going to make mistakes. We're live right now, so we're making mistakes. And I like them, okay? I like them, okay? Because this is what the practice room is for. This is not a fight right now. Dana White's not going to recruit you today, okay? So I just want you to understand it's okay to make mistakes. Practice makes perfect, okay? So one for one. Age. Age. Good. Age. Good. Age. And age. And time. Nice job. Give a hand. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay, so far so good. We have just our left side, okay? Front teep, switch kick, switch knee, okay? The teep, if I'm gonna classify that in ranges, right? So I, my personal opinion in Muay Thai, there's four ranges, okay? There's long range, mid range, there's short range, then there's clinch, okay? Which the clinch is a whole separate thing, which we'll hopefully get to that um, later on this week. But what would you classify the teep as, Kenny? Long range. It's a long range weapon. What would you classify the kick as? Long range. I would classify that as long to mid range, okay? Long to mid range, depending on what's happening, okay? And the knee? Uh, mid close. Yeah, mid close. Excellent job. Yeah, mid to close range. What's going on? Somebody say something? Somebody say something? Nobody said nothing. Oh, okay. It's okay. All right. Come over here, sir. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to mix all three just using our lead side. So, again, if I'm softball, it's going to be my right. The right hand is going to be my left. Okay, so I'm going to do my teeth, making sure I have some rhythm here. Switch kick. Okay, then switch knee. Coming back. Now my partner's going to go. Going to go front teeth. Switch kick. Switch knee. That is a complete set of what we've been doing. Okay, so we're doing in this complete set. Okay, that's basically one. Okay, front teeth, switch kick, switch knee is one. I want you guys doing that with your partners. One for one. One, two, three. All right, let's go. Okay, start. Front teeth, switch kick, switch knee. All right, now Kenny's gonna go. Boom. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see over here. What we got? Boom. Boom. Excellent, excellent. Keep it up. Let me check on you guys. What's up, guys? You guys good? I hope everybody's good. We miss you guys, you know. Hey, hey, switch knee. Hey, good. Now, I hope you're doing this at home. Follow along, please. Again, if you don't have a partner, it's totally fine. Just do it by yourself. When you do the switch kick, switch knee. Okay. You can always do everything by yourself, okay? That's the beauty of what we do. Okay, hey, hey, beautiful. Keep it going, keep it going. Hey, 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 nice. Hey, 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 beautiful. One more set, please. Hey, 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 and time. Nice job. Give a hand. Very good, very good. All right, you know what it is 10 push up, 10 sit up. Let's go. Counting in time. No, song, song, si, ha, ho, jet, bat, ga, sip. Conditioning is super important to martial arts. If your opponent is in better shape than you, you're going to have some trouble, okay? So let's get in shape. Let's go. No, song, song, si, ha, ho, jet, bat, ga, Sip. All right. Nice shot. Okay. Go ahead and take a water break. Give you a couple times. As you're taking your water break, go ahead and take a knee with me, fellas. And uh, we're just going to talk a little bit about what we've done so far and the progression, how we're going to move forward. Okay. So the teeth. Super important to start off a fight with. Okay. I remember uh, a lot of coaches would tell their fighters to start with the jab and the teeth. It sets the rhythm, sets the pace. If you have a really good teeth, you can make life uh, miserable for your opponent if you have a really good teeth. Okay. Uh, notable people to watch, okay, since you're already on YouTube, okay, after class, look up uh, Bua Cao. 
Buakao has a masterful team. When he fought Masato in K1, uh, the first fight, he, he basically won on teams. He did the same thing to Nikki Holskin and um, Zanzibar. He did the same thing to Zanzibar, which was awesome. He actually used everything that we're doing today when he fought Jabba uh, Zanzibar. It was awesome to see. Uh, another one is uh, Samat Payakarun, who's my favorite fighter. Samat is awesome. He's a left-handed fighter who also masterfully used teams, okay, to set the pace, create distance. I mean, the guy's a, a real master, you know, so – I mean, we're pretty good. We're pretty good what we do here, guys. <laughs> but um, please, please use the references that I'm giving you. Again, that's Buakau and Samart Payakarun. Okay, that's the Falang version. Okay, Samart Payakarun or Samat Payakarun. Okay, so moving forward now. Okay, let's go and stand up. Hope everybody got a nice, decent uh, water break there. So now, what I did to the front. I'm going to do to the back, okay? So now I'm going to do what's called, my back teeth is also called? Okay. Good, no? What's again? Offensive. Yes, it's an offensive. I thought you said defensive. Offensive teeth. Attacking teeth, okay? Usually used when I got somebody off balance, I really want to get them off balance, knock them down, maybe even hurt them with it, okay? I use my back teeth. Since it travels from a further distance, it normally has a little more power, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my leg, okay? Back teeth, pulling back to my stance. I'm going to do my right kick, pulling back to my stance. I'm going to use my loading step here to execute my rear knee. We're going to get to that, but let's, let's go from scratch, okay? And since the rear kick is usually easy for everybody else, what we're going to do, we're going to do our uh, back teep and our rear kick, okay? And that would be one. So I put my back teep, rear kick, okay? My arm is going to go. Back teep, rear kick, go, back teep, rear kick, okay, let's do that, one for one, one, two, three, good, good, yes, there you go, oh, one for one, baby, one for one, one for one, 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 Hey, nice job. Notice how they're holding. They're holding at this angle here. They're receiving the teep here, then they're holding here. Not here, here. This is the angle I want my shin to attack. A lot of times people try to cut across this way. You may hurt your foot on an elbow, okay? And it's not gonna get that much um, impact unless they're really, really high in their guard this way. But attacking the arm here is the goal with your shin, okay? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Hey. Hey, beautiful. Hey, and time. Nice job. So now look, one key thing, especially for your back uh, attacks on your, or your attacking leg, is I want to try in this set to maintain the integrity of my fighting stance. Meaning, if my fighting stance is right, every time I kick, I want to go there. I want to be controlling my leg. So you may ask, coach, how do I do it? Okay, and I'm going to show you, okay? So your leg has an extens, uh, like an extension muscle. And a pulling muscle, we call this the quadricep, and this would be the hamstring, okay? As I extend, I'm using my quadricep. When I pull it back, I'm using my hamstring. So I want to make sure with I'm doing the teeth, okay? If I'm doing the right kick, I'm doing the right kick. I want to be pulling my leg back, pulling my heel to my bottom to maintain the integrity of my fighting stance, okay? So I'll do it again. I'll do my front teeth. I'll do my rear kick, pulling my heel to my bottom to maintain the integrity of my so now we're gonna do our rear knee. Rear knee is gonna do that Hadouken hold that we talked about. Remember, not the Kamehameha, okay? The Hadouken, okay? I'm going to do a loading step to get closer, okay? So I can slide my back leg in, loading step here to get closer. And I will do my rear knee and come back, okay? Loading step, rear knee. Loading step, rear knee. I just want you to work this rear knee Right now, three for three, okay? One, two, three. Let's watch the pros here. Jay's gonna go, loading step, rear knee, a beautiful rear knee, son, nice show. Step, boom. Uh-huh, loading step, boom. And Kenny's turn, loading step, right knee, very good. Point your toe, hey, beautiful rear knee. Good job, let's go two for two, so good. Hey. 
Nice. Rear knee. Rear knee. Good. And remember, at home, this is knee number one. I will be testing on that when you come back from all this crazy stuff. Uh, we'll be testing. Okay. I'll be testing. I'll ask you what knee goes to the body. Okay. Be knee number one. Okay. Or well, in this angle. Okay. A's to one for one. I mean, I mean sorry, Hadouken. A's good. Catch. Boom. So easy. Hey, very good, you know. Uh, okay. And hey, uno más. Hey, time. Nice job. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. Okay. So now we're going to put our rear side together. Everything that we just did, okay? Okay, so what was it again? Yep, you guessed it. Back teeth. Hey, rear kick. Hey, loading step. Oh. Rear knee. Add the loading step. Add the loading step, okay? The loading step looks like I'm going to do a front attack anyway, right? It's good to fake them out, okay? In fighting, we, we work punches, we work kicks, but we also work the theory to fighting. How are we landing our strikes? A lot of that has to do with feints, baits, traps, and fakes, okay? So we're using our loading step, not only as a range finder into, into game range, but also as a, as a fake, okay? Fake them out. So I'll do it again, okay? So I'll do my back teep, boom. My rear kick, play, loading step, Boom, and rear knee. And then Kenny would go, he would do back teeth, rear kick, away. Let's give a hand, very good, very good. So I'm gonna have these two gentlemen do that, that whole set with their rear side, one for one, okay? You do that at home, one for one as well. Remember this whole set is one for one, okay? Good, remember to work your basics, work the details. The power of your moves are in the details, okay? The details, it does not have to be super powerful right now, okay? You're going to be as powerful as you're going to be genetically and as fast as you're going to be. Work your technique and your timing. It'll serve you better in the long run, okay? Keep going, keep going. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, beautiful, beautiful. Hey, 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 excellent. Keep it up. Hey, move over here. Hey. Hey, good. Let me see how you guys are doing over here. You guys doing all right? Yeah, you guys doing good. I like it. I like it. Keep it up. Yeah. How you doing? Hi, Bella. Hi, Katie. Natalie. Hi, guys. How are you? Anthony and Diesel. All my students, I miss you guys, man. What up, Z? I hope you guys are doing all right, man. Miss you guys a lot. Okay. Hope you're feeling like you're a part of class. I hope, you <laughs> I hope you're having fun with us right now. This is awesome. Okay. Keep it up. Hey, 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 Anton, nice job. Again, it's, we're having a good time, right? Have a good time. It's okay. Look, guys, it's okay. Laugh. Have a good time. Yes, we're doing something serious. We are learning how to fight at the end of the day. We're learning martial arts. We're learning skills, social skills, okay? We're learning um, discipline, perseverance. We're learning all these things. At the end of the day, we are learning how to fight. So, Take your technique extremely serious. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it, okay? However, it's okay to have fun. Lighten up a little bit and smile, okay? It's okay. As long as you're doing your technique, good. <coughs> Max, I'll say. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to put the front side and the rear side together. Do you remember everything? I have a sound, okay? So I'll do my front teeth, my switch. What? Yes, kick. He does the Hadouken, and I do my switch. Huh? Knee, that's right. Boom. Then I'm gonna come back. What am I doing? The opposite side, that's right. So I do my back, huh? Teeth. Hey, then my rear kick, yes. Hey, then I do my, oh, who said knee? Wrong. Loading step, then I knee. Got it? Guys, got it? Okay, doing that back and forth, okay? Front side, back side, everything together, one, two, three. All right, let's go. We're gonna do this for a little while. You know, we'll do our 10 push ups, 10 sit ups, do a short water break, you know, maybe a long one. Depends. Depends. Okay. Let me get a thumbs up if you're following at home. Yeah. Let's get a thumbs up if you're following all, along at home. I hope that you are. Hope you're not just watching and being entertained here. It's an interactive kind of a thing, you know. So interact. Switch kick, switch knee. It's so easy for you. 
Oh, back cheese. Come here, kid. He's messing with him right there. Okay, he's messing with him. Right there. Okay, messing with him. Right there. Front teeth. Oh, was it? Hey, switch knee. Back teeth. Hey. Hey. Hey, excellent. Your turn. Notice how they're giving each other some space to work. It's awesome, okay? I love it. Give each other space to work. Don't just stand there like a mannequin, okay? People don't normally stay there when you try to hit them anyway. They have some movement, so it's good to work out to move and balance with your kicks and work your distance. Distance control, super important, okay? Distance control. You can have all the best techniques in the world, but if you cannot land those techniques, okay, because you don't understand distance control, what, what use are they? So while you're training, you're working your eyes as well and time, okay? Nice job, nice job, nice job. Give some hands, go and take a knee and talk to, talk to the people at home. So look, distance control, let's talk about that. Let's just forget about the technique for a second and talk about distance control. It's super important. Why is it important? Okay, again, like I was saying, you can have all the technique in the world, but if you don't understand how to use your distance or recognize when you're in danger or when you can put somebody in danger, that's huge, okay? So when you're training on the mats, when you're shadow boxing, when you're doing anything, you're also training your eyes, seeing how close or how far something is. So yes, how do I do that when I'm shadow boxing? Well, get a focal point. Look, pick a spot in your home. Go outside, pick a tree that you can actually see something and have a frame of reference. Use a heavy bag if you have that in your house, okay? Whatever you may have. Now, some of you don't have pads at home, which is perfectly fine. If you're doing anything and you want to execute a little bit of power, use the couch cushions at home. Use some pillows to work low kicks. Of course, that's not a valuable pad to be blasting your, your sibling in the leg. That would be kind of messed up, right? So you're going to work, you know, obviously to the pain threshold and the level of the equipment that you have, but it's still available to do. And um, you can go on Amazon and look up uh, Amazon. I'm sure they have some tie pads that they can ship to your home, okay? Just make sure that your delivery driver it has a mask on. I'm just kidding. Okay, so let's do our 10 push ups and 10 sit ups. Here we go. Ready? Go. No. Song. Sound. Si. Ha. Ho. J. Back. Ga. Sip. All right. Let's start. Up six. No. Song. Sound. Si. Ha. Ho. J. Bad, bow, sit. All right, so now I'm gonna have my guys here put on their gloves. You at home, go ahead and put on your gloves if you have them. If you don't have gloves, get your oven mitts, okay? Do what you need to do, okay? I'm gonna get my gloves on too. Take a short water break if you need to, okay? Don't worry. I'll leave you all the way, okay? I'm coming back here, see, so good for you. So what we're gonna do now, and I'll demonstrate with Kenny here, I'm going to have this work their lead side. They're gonna go three for three, but they're gonna do these attacks in any order they want using just their lead side. Now, my partner is not necessarily catching right now. He's not checking either, just absorbing the strikes. So I'm going to be extremely nice to my partner since it's gonna be kind of an unpredictable thing and I'm not gonna hurt them, okay? And then in turn, they'll, they'll do their best not to react in a weird way that's going to hurt me while I'm doing my moves, okay? Remember, we're just working three for three for right now until I call two for two and one for one. You should go like this. Okay, so I'll start first, okay? Good. And he's going to go. Now notice we're, we're making contact, okay? Look. Muay Thai is a contact sport, meaning you're supposed to make contact, okay? You're going to get touched. But did you die? No. Right? Make sure the contact is light, okay? Then I'll go two for two, okay? Two for two. Switch knee and T. It'll go. Kick. Switch kick again. Beautiful. I love it, okay? And we'll go one for one. One for one happens right here in the pocket. Boom. Boom. Okay, my turn. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have them do that for a while. And you feel free to do this at home. Ready? And begin. Good. Now move around a little bit like you're sparring now, okay? And three. Good. Now in this rhythm here, in this drill here that you're doing, 
uh, with each other. I want you guys to make sure that you're moving in a sparring rhythm, sparring rhythm, okay? You're not being too crazy, okay, because we don't even spar crazy. We don't spar hard, okay, and there's a big reason why we don't do that. The Thais don't spar hard. If you go to Thailand and you put on some gloves and shin guards, you spar with a professional Thai fighter, you kick them really hard, they just will never spar oh, after they kill you. They'll, they'll probably never spar with you again, okay? See how much of an amateur that you that you are, okay? Um as opposed to the Dutch, they, they spar extremely hard, okay? But I have found, okay, uh, that the general population, they like to spar in this fashion, nice and light, because you get to work your arsenal and work what you learned in class in a safe environment. A lot of you guys pay to come here. You don't pay to go home with a black eye, okay? You don't put, like to get a broken face and whatnot, okay? So we try our best to go two for two, spar very light, okay? And this is the precursor to actual sparring, okay? The precursor here. Hey, good. Move around, move around a little bit. Change the rhythm. Change the rhythm. Get ready, get set. It's bobsled time. Nice. Who knows that? Sound command. You dead man. Who knows that? Who knows that? Put that in the comments if you know that. That move. Hey, beautiful time in here. Mm. Mm. Okay. So now let's go one for one. And this one for one happens at a one beat rhythm. Go one, one. Go Jay right away. One, one. One. One, good. One beat rhythm. We're not adding a zero, which is zero. We call a counter beat. This is just one for one beat. It's nice and exchange type of a beat, okay? Boom, 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 and time. Let's give a big hand. Nice job, nice job. Oh, we hear you. Give a hand. I'm just kidding. All right, All right so now we're going to work both sides now. Both sides, three for three, okay? So I'm going to work my right side, and I'm going to work my left as well, okay? But we're just doing three for three, so I'm going to choose. Hands up, please. So my front teeth here, do my right kick, okay? And then do my right knee, okay? My son will go, age, 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 beautiful. And that's a really good combination that he did, that front teeth to back teeth. I really like that. My wife did that to me one time. Didn't even expect it. I almost I fell on the ground. Remember that? Ah, oh, man. So embarrassing. Okay, so. And that was my loading step. Okay. Age, two for two, please. Good. Two for two. I like that. So I'm going to steal it. Boom, here you go. Hey, hey, beautiful double tap. Boom. Hey, one for one. One, sorry. One. <laughs> Do it again. You start again. One. 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 Oh, hey. I lose. Give it a half for Jay. Nice job. Nice job. So you guys are gonna do that, okay? Start three for three, use both sides now, okay? One, two, three. Okay. And you at home, use both sides now. Use both sides, okay? Have a good time. Have fun, don't hurt each other. I know some of you are siblings, right? And I can't see what you're doing. So parents, this one's gonna be up to you to control them. Watch them close. Hey, let's go, two for two. Hey. Age, good. Age, age, all right. Age, age, good. Age, 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 good. Age, age, good. Age, age, one for one, please. Age, 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 age. A lot of kicks going on here. <laughs> Where's the knees? <laughs> there we go. Change it up a little. It's fun to do kicks, okay? You're going to gravitate to what you're best at and what you like to do, but I encourage you to also work at what you're not so good at and make it good, okay? Make it clean, okay? Make sure you understand, okay? Good. And time. Let's give a hand. Nice job. Nice job. That was beautiful. So now we do have the gloves on for a reason. So now we're going to do, um, we're going to add a punch before we do our three kicks, okay? And this is just to keep each other honest, okay? Now, again, we're going to add a strike, a punching strike. This is mostly for measurement, okay? Mostly for measurement. I'm not gonna add any power to this. Another thing this does for my partner is to let them understand that people are gonna try to smack you in the mouth, okay? So make sure that your hands are up and you have a good guard, okay? What's a good helmet guard? A good helmet guard is just hands on your head, making a heart shape with your hands right here. Make sure you can see through your gloves. Don't do, you should be close here. You should be here so you can manipulate it here if you need to. Don't do this <laughs> when the punches start coming, okay? If your hands are away from your face, they're going to hit your hands. Your hands are going to hit your head, 
and then you're going to hit the ground. That's three hits, okay? You don't want that, so keep your hands up, okay? So I'm going to go, and remember, I'm not counting the punches. I'm counting the kicks. I'm just going to give a punch for measurement and then do my strikes, and I'm doing either side, okay? So I'll get my jab here. One, two, just keep it coming, dog. Three, and he goes. He's using his jab. So keep me honest in the measure. Sure. One, two, and one more, please. Uh, kick, kick. Three. We're not counting the punches, just counting the kicks. I'll do my cross this time. One, two, three. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. We'll move around a little bit. Sparring fashion here. Do my jab. One, two, Three. Okay, moving here. Go two for two. One, two. Okay, he wins. Boy, you get the idea. Okay, let's give him a hand. Nice job, nice job. I want you guys doing that using your your hands to measure and keep each other honest. Three for three. One, two, three. Only counting the kicks. Not counting the, the punches. Remember, you're not counting the punches. Okay, you're only counting the kicks. So you don't start counting until you kick or knee or teeth. Hey, boy. Huh. <laughs> hey, beautiful, beautiful. Notice how the hands add a different dimension, a more realistic dimension to these moves. Move around a little bit. Hey, beautiful. Hey, nice. Two for two, please. Hey, hey, nice job. Yeah, you can parry the punch as well if you like. I don't want you doing severe blocks, okay? How many guard are better? Hey. Hey, okay, good. He opted not to throw his hands there, which is still fine. You can do that, but normally we set up our punches and kicks with our hands. So I encourage them to, and I encourage you at home to make sure you use your hands before you throw your kicks or knees or teeth. Okay, so good, good. So it shows you, you can actually execute a move like a teeth and still use your hands. Okay, you can still use these long range weapons and use your hands. We'll talk about that, how we measure that time. So how I'm measuring from a jab. First of all, when I'm throwing my jab or my cross, do I always have to hit him in the face? No. What can I do to measure? What can I do? What, what can I hit in order to measure? Know if they're close enough? Their hands. Their hands. Yes. Exactly. Give a hand. Very good. Yes. I can hit their hands or I can touch their hands. If you look, right, he's going to go ahead and put this one down. He's going to keep this one up. If I touch here, if I touch here, I can definitely tee. If I touch his hands, I can definitely kick. If I touch his hands, I can definitely knee. Definitely knee, okay? Also, if it comes to the cross, put his hands up. If I touch here, if I go, I'm going to hit past it. So if I touch here with this hand here, can I hit him with the cross? Look how my hand went past his face. This tells me that I can just turn my hips, turn my shoulder, turn my feet, and I can actually hit him still staying on balance. My head is still between my knees, and I can pull back here. We're using our front hand to measure. I can do the same thing with this. If I can touch him here, can I kick? Yes, of course. If I can touch him here, can I teep? Yes. Can I knee? Yes, I can. So we're using our hands, touching their hands to measure to attack them with our legs, okay? So let's do that one more time, guys. Let's go one for one, please. One, two, three. Easy kick. One, good. Turn. H, good. H, move around a little bit. There you go. Sparring rhythm, please. H, A. Hey, beautiful, nice. Nisha, kick today, so easy. Uh, by, oh, hey, I thought that was a switch knee. See how he tricked us? See how he tricked us? You thought it was a switch knee, too. Stop lying. All right. Good, keep it up. Hey, 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 and time. Give a big hand. Nice job, nice job. Okay, we're going to do our 10 push-up, 10 sit-up. Ready? Here we go. Get to the side. And be going. Long, song, sound, si, ha, ho, jet, bat, gal, sit. Okay. Sit-ups ready and go. Long, song, sound, si, ha, ho, jet, Bat, down, sit. All right, let's take a knee, fellas. Get a little close to the camera, get real intimate here. Let's get real intimate. Let's get real for a second. Let me take these gloves off, guys. Let's get real for a second. First of all, 
Give yourselves a big hand. Nice job. I speak on behalf of my son and Kenny. I'm sure that we can say we're very proud of you. We miss you guys. We hope everybody's staying happy, staying healthy, and, uh, you know, just doing what the government's telling us right now to get through this trying time. Now, this is this too shall pass. It's just a comma in our history, okay? It's going to pass. We're going to come back. We're going to come strong as ever. Um, I want to take this time to thank you for your loyalty to Discovery Martial Arts and Discovery Moves High, and to keep it up. Keep up the loyalty. Keep up the patronage, please. We, we need you guys just as much as you need us, so thank you very much, okay? So, um, you're going gonna to cut it? Right now, I was gonna give a little. Keep going. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not stopping you. Thank you. <laughs> so, perseverance, perseverance. Okay. Perseverance, super important. Another word for perseverance, or another phrase, is just to never give up. Okay, never give up. But let's talk about that. That's not always easy. Okay, especially in the face of adversity. When you're facing something difficult and you don't see success right away, our first inclination as human beings is to give up. It just is. And I'm including myself. I'm including myself in that. There's been uh, many things that I have started, didn't see success from it. And you're gonna have that doubt slip into your head. What do you do, okay? Winston Churchill gave a riveting speech. A riveting, wanna hear it? Here it goes, it's long, brace yourself. He said, never give up. Never, never give up. That was it, that was the speech. But just think about how powerful it is. Sometimes these long drawn out conversations uh, and speeches don't really hit home and get to the point better than just a simple short phrase as never give up, never, never give up, okay? And he said that three times in there, never give up, never, never give up, okay? And I'm gonna employ you to do the same thing, never give up. You know, the most successful people in the world have tried and failed more than regular people have attempted to do anything, okay? In order to reach success, to be a level of success that you're going to reach there's going to be steps that you're going to have to go through you're going to it's called paying your dues in order to reach something and reach a level you're going to have to dig deep and do it okay to get that reward okay nothing in life worth having is going to be easy life is not promised to be easy but it's worth it if you put the time in and you put the work in muay thai in taekwondo and jiu-jitsu boxing whatever it is that you pursue make sure you put your all into it and know that there are going to be times where you question yourself and that's going to be okay. Your parents, your coaches, okay, we're all going to be here to help you through those times. So make sure you use this as a resource. But the most important resource you can use is yourself. Dig deep, look inside yourself, and persevere through those tough times. Okay, stand up, guys. Why? So I'll be up. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you. See you soon. Boy, you are a character. And I